Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper Trader, Guide Scout, and Interpreter, and Country Cook, Steve Hall here in Nashville, Tennessee. Hi, Sheila. Hi. She's back there running the camera for us today. We were down at our favorite catfish restaurant in Mississippi called Reed's, just a little south of Red Bay, Alabama, where Sheila's ma lives. And we finished dinner, had them catfish that they slice up. If you look at our catfish recipe, how to cook whole catfish, it's on YouTube as well. We got that from those guys. We were walking out the door paying our bill. We're just kind of saying hi to everybody around Christmas. And there was these little clumps of candy looking items sitting there. She said, have one. And I picked it up. I said, what in the world is this? It's delicious. She said, those are cornflake clusters, I think she called them. So we're going to call them cornflake clusters just for that. I said, how do you make them? She said, it's the easiest thing in the world. You need one cup of carol syrup, one cup of sugar, and one cup of peanut butter. Just that simple. And then six cups of cornflakes. So we've got a big bowl over here ready to pour our mixture into with our six cups of cornflakes. All right, you put your one cup of carol syrup in there first. Start getting it hot. We got our burner up here on about medium high. And we're gonna add a little bit of sugar at a time and stir it in here to dissolve it. A little at a time, mix this in. This stuff is so good, the kids are gonna absolutely love it. And it's cornflake clusters made with this stuff and peanut butter. I am so excited about making this recipe because they had it there. I said, you gotta give it to me. And they parted with it, same thing they did with the catfish recipe, so. Again, real simple, three ingredients, one cup of carol syrup. And I use the light colored carol syrup only because I think that's what they use. There's two of them in the store. One of them almost looks like molasses. And I don't think that's what most people cook with. So we're going with the light colored carol syrup. This stuff right here, one cup and then one cup of sugar. We'll just go ahead and put the rest of that in there. I think we're in good hands. She said, stir that until it's dissolved, so it's getting there. And then we're going to add our one cup of peanut butter. Now it's tough to get one cup of peanut butter into a measuring cup, but I think I did it. There she is starting to simmer a little bit. We're going to give this just a minute or two to make sure our sugar is dissolved pretty good. You can kind of tell a little better with it off the burner whether or not what we're seeing is sugar or just foam from being hot. So it's starting to get really dissolved. And now, I think we've made that. So I think it's time for our one cup of peanut butter. I'm going to turn this burner down real quick while I stir this in here. Maybe this peanut butter will cool the mixture down a little bit so it doesn't burn. And as soon as we get this melted real, real good, we're going to pour it over six cups of cornflakes. And we just bought the cheapest stuff you could get at Kroger's, whatever was on sale for cornflakes. And then we're going to take our little scooper whooper right here and take it out just like we did the glumpies in another rest recipe and we're going to put it on parchment paper. <laughs> One thing I did discover that we found out the last time that we made the little glumpies, I put a few of them on a plate, just a regular plate to put in the freezer to cool them down so we could show it at the end of the recipe. And unless it's on parchment paper, let me tell you something, they like a plate. They stick to it like you couldn't get it loose. We had to almost chisel them off of there, but they popped right off the paper easy. So I actually turned that burner off once I got the, and it's still bubbling. It's still bubbling in there, so there's enough heat left in the burner to really dissolve our peanut butter. So let's get this mixed up here. I'm going to stir it for about another minute and make sure it's really, really mixed well. And then we're going to add it to our cornflakes. All right, we got our six cups of cornflakes. Just waiting for the magic ingredient. And here it is right here. Always go low and slow so you don't burn your mixture. But let's kind of just pour it all over the place here. I'm not going to spend a lot of time getting every drop out of this pan because I want to mix this up. So 
why it's still doing the right thing. Kind of go from the outside in so most of it doesn't get on your bowl. All right. Cornflake clusters, and I'm telling you, this stuff will make you slap your grandma, as they say. Now it's really starting to get on everything. It's looking good. Kind of fold it in there so you don't crush the cornflakes too bad. But I don't think that hurts the texture anyway, even if a few of them get smashed it up there. Now that we got that stuff mixed in there, we're going to we're going to try to get away with this little flipper thing that's got the little blade in the back half of it and see if we can't get some little chunks. And one thing I found out about trying to keep your parchment paper flat is put the first four that you put on there, put on the outside corners. <laughs> They're kind of like paperweights then. Get one on all four corners to help hold our paper down. And uniformity does not make any difference in this recipe. Just however you can get a teaspoon and glob them on there or whatever. Now one gal that was sitting at that table told me something and I won't forget it. She said, you know what I do? She said, I make a ring of cornflakes and then I pour it all on the ring for Christmas time to make it look like a wreath. Or she takes it and shapes it after she mixes it in the bowl, I think, and then shapes it out to be a wreath. Then I guess you could cut it once it cooled. You could cut it and uh, everybody could get a little bite, but it would still look like a Christmas wreath for Christmas parties. So this stuff makes quite a bit, like uh, six cups. Duh. Anyway, I had to share this recipe with you. And we're going to let this cool. We're going to turn the camera off and let this cool and then we'll give it our taste test. But I already know what it tastes like. That's why I ran home with the recipe to get you some cornflake clusters. Might have a spot for a little bit on the outer edge there. Now you can make these in smaller chunks, but you might as well be true to yourself and just make them this big because you're going to you're going to come back over and get a second one anyway, so you might as well save the walk across the living room and just get one that's a little bit bigger like this. Let me think, where can I put him? Maybe, hmm, I don't have a spot, so I'm just going to have to let him cool in the bowl. There it is, cornflake clusters. One cup of sugar, one cup of carol syrup, which you heat up first and mix it up so the sugar completely dissolves. Then add your one cup of peanut butter and pour it over six cups of cornflakes. We're going to let this cool, then we're going to turn it back on and see what we got for our finished product. Man, there you have it. These are mistakes, and they're supposed to be eaten immediately. <laughs> Me and Sheila have already been picking the little, little parts that stick out and eat them. She says, you know what? We need a large glass of milk and about 10 of these and head to the other room. I said, no, we need to take them all and put them in a dish and send them to the neighbors because they're deadly. I love the parchment paper because they just pop right off of there. See that? And uh, they're still just a barely touch warm here. Is that proper English? A barely touch warm? Anyway, anyway, let me try this. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> These are absolutely to die for. They're not too much peanut butter. They're not too sweet. It, it, everything is just the perfect texture. It's soft and crunchy at the same time, if you can believe that. And I'm telling you, the flavor is just so deep because of that carol syrup and peanut butter, it's just the right amount of sugar. Them girls from Alabama, they can really cook down there and come up with some neat little snacks. Ooh, that's a mistake sliding off to the side because I'm gonna eat that as soon as we turn this camera off here. There you have it, aren't they wonderful? Man, cornflake, what do we call them? Cornflake crunchies or something? Clusters, cornflake 
clusters. Don't say that with your mouthful. Anyway, there you have it. Aren't they wonderful? This is a recipe you don't have to go to the recipe book to remember because it's one, one, and one. One cup of sugar, one cup of carol syrup, one cup of peanut butter. Start out with your sugar and your carol syrup first. Use medium heat. Don't go any higher because you don't want to burn it. Get it dissolved. Add your peanut butter. Dissolve that and put it over six cups of cornflakes. Man, this stuff is outstanding. If you like our recipes, there's our subscribe button right there. Just click on that and we'll let you know when you're the first to, you'll be the first to know, I should say, when we come out with a new recipe. And I'm telling you, these things are fantastic. I want to thank the ladies down there at Reed's Restaurant in Alabama for giving us this recipe as we were going out the door. I took a couple of them with me when I left and I told Sheila, when we get home, we got to make these. So I'd really like to stay and talk, but Sheila's got a couple glasses of cold milk and we're going to grab one of these and go in the other room take a little break and we'll be back with another recipe pretty soon so this is steve hall in nashville tennessee and are these the best little cornflake cluster things you ever made if they ain't they ought to be we'll see you next time right here on cooking with shotgun red bye bye thanks sheila great job